Hey guys, it's Gabriel here and um, I have a new coffee toy that I'd like to show you. Um, this is the Force Tamper and it, it's pretty much a game changer because uh, it fixes all the issues that are related to tamping. So tamping always had two major issues. Number one is consistent weight or consistent pressure. So you know they always tell you just use 25 pounds or 30 pounds of pressure or 15 pounds of pressure which is all fine and dandy but the issue is how can you make sure that every time you temp you're getting 25 pounds of pressure or 30 pounds of pressure whatever whatever it is the weight that you decide to go with and the other issue was making sure that your temp is leveled it's straight it's um, you know, it, it's, it's not like, like this, it's not like this. So, you know, a lot of companies, a lot of tampers came out, uh, and they always decided to fix one of the two problems, like the S pro calibrated tamper. They only try to fix the consistent, you know, pressure issue, which is, which is really fine and, you know, good, but you know, problem is what about leveling? So it, this tamper here fixes both issues. The other tampers that are on the market that I've seen, they even the ones that fix the self-leveling issue, the one that sit on top of your basket, um, even those, they let you adjust the travel distance of the tamper. So they let you choose how far or the depth of the track the the depth of the tamper or how far the tamper is gonna you know travel and hit the puck now this is this is fine it's not a bad idea but the issue with it is if you change coffees uh, you end up having to change that travel distance of the tamper or if you change dosage if you go from 18 grams to 20 grams now you have to make sure that you adjust your you know temper so that it doesn't temp as far so that the temper doesn't travel as far um, now this temper here is a game changer why because it solves the issue of the self leveling because the temper sits on top of the basket that top that top part sits on top of the basket and it also solves the issue of the consistent pressure regardless of dosage or coffee so the way it works, you just put this on top of a porter filter, and I'm gonna come back. I have two porter filters ready. Uh, one has a 22, 22 grams VST basket. The other one has a 20 grams VST basket, and uh, one has a dosage of 15 or 16 grams, and the other basket has a dosage of around 19, eight or 20 grams. And I'm gonna show you. Uh, how the tamper will apply the same the same amount of pressure in both baskets knowing that the baskets are not the same and knowing that the dosage is totally different there's at least four grams um, difference in dosage but I still want to show you what comes with this tamper you know it, they have different the you know company that sells it the force tamper they have different um, you know packages you can just buy the uh, you know tamper and it comes with one base or you can buy um, their fuller package and it comes with uh, uh, eight total bases plus it comes with different handle shapes and it comes with a tamper seat uh, but let me just show you first how this this tamper works here just you know without a port filter you know for now just to show you how the mechanics of it works so all what you have to do is just you put it on your porta filter you hold it down just to make sure that it, that it doesn't go anywhere and then you just hit it like this and you see that punch that punch means that it did or did apply 15 pounds of pressure and you know this is really awesome because it 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 removes tamping and tamping mistakes from the equation of making good espresso um, so let me just show you the different bases that that come with this so this is the European curve this is the C flat curve 
I'm sorry, this is the C flat bass. Now this is the European ripple bass. This is the US ripple bass. And this one is just ripple, okay? Um, I tried the different ripple basses. Uh, personally, I didn't notice any um, any difference between the, the European ripple bass or the US ripple bass. I don't think this speaks to the bass itself, but it could be that simply I'm not noticing uh, any difference in, in um, espresso tones or, or taste or anything like that. But, you know, for some people, they're very particular about the kind of bass that they want to use. Personally, I like the uh, U.S. Curve bass or the European uh, Curve bass. The European Curve has a little more curve than the U.S. Curve. Uh, but either one, I, I like better than the flat. Again, each their own. They, they you know, uh, a lot of people, they're going to fight this and they're just going to tell you, no, the best bass ever is the C Ripple or whatever. And that's perfectly fine it's just a matter of preference now the six bass that come here that's the C ripple and that's the flat and I already have the curve the uh, um, European curve on it which is awesome like I said the curve one is uh, the one that I prefer the best and it also comes with a tamper seat so you just leave it like this. You put your tamper on top of it, and it really looks nice. Um, they also have different handle colors. They have this brown here. They also have black. They have you know red, and I think they're also working on different uh, uh, different kind of wood one uh, wood ones where it's like uh, you know got all all sort of uh, designs and you know patterns and uh, but you know. Uh, you're definitely gonna gonna have a choice when it's time um, you know for you to buy it you know again you have a choice of bases you have a choice of handles and you can always buy additional handles and just replace them because the tamper itself does not change so the handles are are inter interchangeables and the the bases are also interchangeable so you can even start with just a basic tamper just with one base and one you know handle and then maybe five months later six uh six months later you want to go back and you got bored of your handle you want to get a different color you want to get a different shape that's not a problem you can go back to their website and and uh and um, uh, you can buy additional handles so uh with that said um you know i'm gonna and oh i also forgot this it comes with this bag um, so you can store it if you need to it's a it's a really nice and it's really good looking bag um, and it's not just that it, it it really came nicely packaged it came with a with an airtight jar uh, you know plastic jar and um, yeah it was it was really nicely packaged and nicely done the craftsmanship on this is really nice the design is an award-winning design they just won an a word for the stamper design from um, dot um, which is awesome so yeah I'm just super excited about this stamper um, I, I think it's a game changer because um, I don't see uh, any more issues with tamping it really does take tamping out of the equation this way you have to only worry about your extraction you have to worry about your grinder you have to worry about your distribution but as far as tamping this stamper is a game changer. It takes it out of the takes stamping out of the equation. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna have two different portafilter, filter, like I said, portafilters. filters. Uh, I'm also gonna have a scale so I can show you that it does do 15 pounds of pressure regardless of dosage. Okay, guys, uh, coming back and just you know again, want to show you that um, the tamper is pretty consistent weight wise regardless of dosage so here we are we have two porta filters okay that's my bottomless and that's my you know commercial um, triple basket triple shot basket porta filter and as you can see this is the VST one and it says 20 grams and as also you can see it's not full at all as I mean I would say it even maybe have 15 or 16 grams tops 
and then here I have the uh, you know 22 grams VST basket and again as you can see it's uh, pretty full so I have a scale here this is homemade testing I'm not a you know professional this is a user review you know somebody who's using this on a daily basis so um, not super super fancy here but you, you, you will get to see um, how the tamper does so I'm gonna start with the um, heavier one with the 22 grams basket and I'm gonna get this on and then it's pretty much zeroed out let's see if we can show you this guys okay so that was 15 to 16 pounds of pressure um, I hope you can see this uh, I can see if I can slow it down when I'm editing but if not you can just you know pause it you will see that the that the scale obviously is not keeping up with the actual punch but you will see that it was anywhere between 15 to 16 pounds again the point is we want to make sure that it's consistent okay so I'm gonna take this out as you can see beautiful tamp and look at that perfectly leveled okay no more having to worry about leveling okay um, if you don't level if you don't have a perfect level tamp what you, what's gonna end up happening is water is just gonna go to the you know path of least resistance meaning it, if it's if it's just gonna for, it's just gonna stay um, it's gonna you know run or stay where the puck is lower and then the higher part is just not gonna get extracted so you're gonna have half of your puck getting extracted and the other half is is just under extracted you end up with the sour notes and it's not gonna taste good okay now here you know again that's the smaller basket okay let's see if we can do this okay can you guys see yep and it's the same exact temp it was anywhere between 15 16 or 15 to 17 pounds of pressure and very consistent and look at that again perfectly done no problems okay look at that perfectly leveled no issues at all this is a nice stamp now that's the awesome part of this guys is that you don't have to worry about the 90 degrees angle like they you know tell you and the you know elbow you have to make sure your 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 elbow is in a 90 degree angle and you have to make sure of this and and when you're done tamping and you're taking your tamping out and you're pulling out your tamper you want to make sure that it's flat I mean you really don't have to worry about any of this stuff uh, this is just a foolproof and it's and it's awesome like that um, I'm gonna stop this come back and then show you the shot with this um, with this port of filter here um, I'm not gonna do the shot with the 16 uh, with the 16 grams dosage because it's gonna go too fast um, because my grinder is not adjusted for 16 grams um, this is what my uh, my grinder is adjusted to so just gonna show you with the naked porter filter yeah and so you can also see how it's gonna look like with the naked porter filter and see how all of the basket is gonna get extracted not part of it okay guys the moment of truth um, now I'm just gonna show you how all of the basket is gonna get extracted and how beautiful this shot is gonna look like uh, coming out of the full basket. Uh, this is a Lavazza top class, and uh, I noticed that longer shots taste much better. So this one is probably gonna go for 34 seconds or or so. Uh, so let's see how it's how it's gonna look like.
Okay, so as you saw, the full basket was extracted and it didn't look like one side is, is over extracted and the other side is under extracted. So hope you enjoyed the video and if, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to get back to you on them. Thanks.